If you caught the last episode, we were talking about internal struggles that rappers face and the obstacles that go on in your mind and your heart as you're chasing your music career. Well, today I figured it was really good for us to cover the external struggles that you're going to face and then some of the obstacles you're going to have to deal with. You know that we come in liars. Oh, I'm going to keep praying to God. Yeah. Oh, tell those little niggas stop it. Oh, tell my mama that I got this. Oh, you know that we come in liars. What's going on guys, it's Pen Fried Rice. Welcome to the Music in the Millions podcast, the show where we give independent rappers the tools and resources needed to be successful without waiting on a record label. If you didn't catch Monday's episode, make sure you go back and check that after you watch this one because it was on internal struggles that you're gonna face as a rapper, as an entrepreneur, as someone chasing a goal. There's both internal and external struggles. The internal struggles are the ones that beat us up from the inside and they're a little bit harder to deal with in my opinion. And then there's the external struggles, the things that the world throws at us to see if we're really cut from the cloth that we're needed to in order to achieve our goals. So the world's gonna throw obstacles at you. People are gonna throw obstacles at you. There's gonna be a lot of different things that come in your path. I'm gonna try and break down some of them today. That way you guys can at least have a heads up of some of the things you're gonna face. Or if you've already faced some of these things, you'll be able to understand from experience what I'm talking about. So the first external struggle that rappers have to deal with is honestly family and friends. And when I say family and friends, I mean the family and friends that choose not to support you or maybe even completely negate the fact that you want to rap. Like I grew up in a family that are extremely religious. They went to church every Sunday, every Wednesday, sometimes on Fridays. I had to go to a church school, all this stuff like that. I was not allowed to listen to any music that was like not... Christian or at least revolved around the Christian world like I could not listen to hip-hop or rap or even really like pop music as a kid and everything like that which was kind of trash and my family just never supported rap they don't like the culture they don't like the words they don't like the music and so I had to literally hide the fact that I was a rapper and go behind my family's back because they did not support what I did but not only did they not support what I did when I was in my teenage years it got to a point where it was like if you keep doing this, we're going to kick you out of the house because if you don't want to listen, you don't want to follow our rules, then you, you can't be under this household anymore. And like that is a very real scenario to be in because I know there are some of you guys out there that are in the same boat as me. Maybe your parents don't support, maybe your grandparents don't support, your siblings don't. That's something you're going to have to deal with. But not only just your family, sometimes your friends are those people too. Sometimes your friends are like, man, you can't do this rap shit. Why are you even trying to have a career? You know your music sucks. You know you're never going to get anywhere. Do not listen to them. That's literally people projecting their fears and insecurities on you. That's people telling you you can't do something because in their head, they know they can't do it. They're not saying you can't do it because they actually believe that you can't. They're saying it because they know they can't and they don't want to feel worse than you for you achieving something that they couldn't do. So don't buy into your family or your friends telling you you can't do something, if you believe you have a dream strong enough and you feel like you can achieve it, go for it. Because trust me, if I were to listen to my parents, I would not be where I'm at today. I would not be making music full time. I would not be producing music, having the time of my life, learning guitar, working with artists. I, the doors of opportunity that have opened up for me would not be here and would not exist if I didn't go against what my parents said as a kid and still chase my dreams. The next external struggle you're going to face as a rapper is money. Money is a very real struggle that people have, especially nowadays with coronavirus and the world in a global pandemic. A lot of people's monies are really tight right now because their jobs are either at limited capacity or maybe they're not getting as many hours as they were. Or worse, they maybe just lost their job entirely. This is a very weird, scary time to be in, but, but that doesn't mean that we can put our dreams on hold. This just means that you're going to need to get better at managing your money and knowing, okay, I have my bills and my daily obligations and my responsibilities, whether that's food or family or rent or whatever it is. But then you also got to realize, I have my rap career. Look at your rap career as if it is its own bill. You have to pay, I don't know, $100 to your rap career every month. And that $100 could be funding for your merchandise. It could be funding for Facebook advertisements. It could be whatever you want it to be. But just realize you need to be good at managing your money and have great money management skills in order to be a successful rapper. Either that or you gotta hire an accountant and to do that you gotta have money. And even then I don't necessarily recommend it. I would, I'm always in the camp of 
learn how to do it yourself and do it for yourself until you get to a point to where you can't anymore. So get good at money management, especially if you want to be a rich rapper because you can't be rich if you don't know how to hold on to a dollar for longer than 10 minutes. Another struggle that rappers have is team building. So many times rappers hop in my DM like, yeah bro, I need a team, I need a manager, I need a videographer, I need a producer, and they have no idea how to like get these people to join their team. A lot of people think if I just go to someone who makes videos, or I go to someone who's a graphic designer and I'm like, yo bro, join my team, I'm a dope rapper, if you give me all this work for free, like I'll give you clout. Uh, sorry man, but that is not how you build a team. I'm not going to go too deep into details here because I've done videos on networking plenty of times. So I'll just link one of those in the description up above and down below. That way you guys can check that one out. But team building is such a struggle because a lot of rappers only want to build a team from the perspective of this is for me. Everybody's going to be helping me out to achieve my goals. Let me, let me tell you guys something. No one wants to help someone who's only focused on helping themselves. No one wants to help someone achieve something if it's just for them. People want to help someone who's looking out for the team. Don't look at a team as an opportunity to have people put you on. Look at a team as an opportunity for you to have a group of people be put on together. You guys want to grow and build and establish something together. Don't look at it as these guys are my stepping stools for me to get to the top because they're not. And that's most likely why you're struggling to get a team built. You need to have one better networking skills but two, you need to focus on building relationships with people, focus on the people that they are, not the skills that they have. This next external struggle is a huge one and you're gonna face it your whole life, so you might as well learn how to deal with it now and that is haters. Everybody has haters, whether you're the biggest rapper in the world or you're Joe Schmo who nobody knows about. Somebody told me one time, they said, you haven't made it until you have haters because that doesn't mean, and that means enough people don't know about you yet. Because if you continue down your path and you blow up to a certain level, there's always going to be people who like you and people who don't like you. And that's perfectly fine. Think about it. You don't even like everybody in this world, so why do you expect everybody in this world to like you? As long as you keep doing what's right with you and with your brand and you keep doing the things that make you happy, that's, that's basically all you need to worry about. And there's going to be people that like you for doing that and there's going to be people for, who don't like you for doing that. Focus on the people who like you, focus on the people that make you happy and that are involved in your circle and in your community, don't focus on the haters. There's always going to be haters there, they're always going to try and tell you shit, they're always going to try and shut you down, don't listen to them. Literally put on your hater blockers and just keep going. The next external struggle besides haters, which <laughs> some people would say these guys are haters too, is the government. Now depending where you are, if you're in America, obviously as a free country we have a little bit more freedom to do the things that we want to do and pursue our dreams and everything like that. But there are some people that aren't in this country. They're in a third world country or they're in a country that may not even allow rap music. Or, you know, there could be a lot, excuse me, <clears throat> there could be a lot of different circumstances where the government are shutting certain things down. The government are causing you to not be able to do things. Like right now with the coronavirus, the government is not letting people perform. That's an external struggle because that's affecting people's money, that's affecting people's audience, that's affecting people's you know reach and everything like that because some people made the majority of their money from touring. Well, the government shut down all touring, so you're, that's not even a possibility right now, but you're always going to have to deal with the government, so you've got to realize now, you gotta you got to learn how to roll with the punches because the government you kind of can't go against because then they'll just throw your ass in jail and then you're super fucked. So... It's, it's a little bit of a weird one to deal with, but just know you're always going to have to deal with the government and with laws and otherwise, you, unless you run your own country and own island, and if that's the case, invite me because I'm lit and let's party. <clears throat> but yeah, no. The government's always going to be around, so you're always going to have to deal with them. The next thing you're always going to have to deal with is liars and deceivers. And these are the people that try to tell you, oh man, yeah, if you give me $500, I'm going to promote your music to this person and that person and this person and you're going to be on bro just trust me like I'll get you there and they take your money and you never hear from this person again. Scammers, liars, deceivers, these people are out there, they don't care about you, all they care about is your money and ripping you off and getting what they want. These people are very real and you need to be aware of them. That doesn't mean you need to live your life in fear and think that every person that approaches you is a scam artist. Just know that everything that you do should be taken with a grain of salt 
and just realize what is this guy's intentions before you sign paperwork or give them money, especially if it's someone you've never met before. And the last one I want to talk about today, guys, is random negative acts. And that is literally just like random bad shit that happens. That could be you getting in a car accident. That could be, you know, your mother getting cancer. That could be uh, a school being shot. Like, I, I hate to go that dark, but it literally could be any of these things. Random negative acts happen all the time. It could be war starting. It could be anything in the world. Someone told me one time, they said something bad happens to you every three months and something catastrophic happens to you every six months. So once they told me that, that kind of put me in the mindset of if you think about this and you're like expecting it, you're like, oh, okay, I know in three months something's going to happen, like my tire's going to pop or maybe my fridge will stop working or maybe I'll break my arm. That's okay because at least you know now the life's not going to be happy all the time. It's not going to be constant rainbows and flowers. You can keep that type of attitude and that positivity, but realize negative bad things are going to happen. That's just the way the world works. It's how things happen. If you learn to roll with the punches, you will be able to get so much further in your music career. And just realize bad things happen to everyone, not just to you. So don't feel like you're alone. Don't feel like you're the only person in the world. You're not. This happens to everyone. You'll get through it. Trust me and you'll achieve your dreams. So with that being said, guys, make sure you drop a subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get us to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Make sure you like this video, hit the notification bell. I know I'm saying all that out of order. I always forget which order I should say it in. With that being said, guys, peace.